Hi, I'm Brenda Walton and I love wrapping gifts. My friends are getting married soon and I'm wrapping a wedding gift for them and I thought I'd really like to make a special embellishment for their gift, but something that's really quick and easy because I don't have a lot of time. So I'm going to use my French bow die for Sizzix. And the bow is really wonderful because you can use it in so many different ways. For one thing, you can use all kinds of different decorative papers. You could use Christmas paper or a birthday paper and make it look really different. You could do a cute little bow for Father's Day. It looks like a little bow tie. And you can use it in many, many different ways. And now I'll show you how to assemble the French bow. First of all, I start by die cutting the pieces of the die out of just a manila folder. And then I can position them on the decorative paper and see exactly where I'm going to get a crop. So say I'd like to get a little bit more pink on this piece so I, can, I know that I'm gonna place it there. And then I just cut loosely around it and place it on the die. And then I can see exactly what I'm getting uh, before I cut it. And also, if you wanted to use, say, a smaller piece of paper, um, like a scrap paper that you have lying around, you can kind of test it using your manila folder piece and, you know, ensure that you have enough for the project. Let me show you how to use this die because it's a little bit different from maybe other dies that you've used. First of all, after you've cut your pieces loosely using the manila folder, and then I just score the fold using the bone folder and I'm going to position it right on the large bow piece, right at the edge, just in a tiny bit from where you see the die end. And then I like to tape that down using a, a bit of low tack tape so that all of those pieces can be cut at one time. So you can save yourself a little bit of time this way. And because it's a steel rule die, it has the power to cut through all of these pieces just beautifully. So after I've placed all of my pieces on the die, then I run it through the machine and they come out looking like this. So to assemble these pieces, simply take the outer edge and move it towards the center and just place it right up against that fold line that you've created. Super simple. This is the largest piece of the bow. And if you're doing a double layered bow as I have done, then this piece will mostly get covered up by the top piece of the bow. So that's just good to know when you're planning your patterns out that this top piece is the most important one. And after you have those two pieces assembled, just put a little dab of hot glue in the center of the bottom layer and press that down. And then you've got your center piece, which has scores in it. So just fold those two scores back, put that in position in the center, and just a little dab of hot glue in the back of that. See how quickly that comes together? It's really amazing. And then I think I'd like to do a tail on this one. So you can just fold over those two tails until they look good to you. And that seems right to me. And then another little dab of hot glue there. Okay, and then hot glue on the back center of the bow piece. And then that is the finished bow. And that looks wonderful. And then I wanna put a little embellishment piece right in the center of that because it's for a wedding and I want it to look really nice and elegant. And now I will just hot glue that to the package. And that makes a very special gift that you've made just for your friend. I think you'll have a lot of fun with this die and thank you so much and happy crafting.